sarin is odorless, but the Orm chemists have not purified it enough. And some smell an odor like mustard, others like burning rubber. <laughs> Suddenly I felt that my eyes were flashing or sparking, as if I were looking at fireworks in the night. Then I couldn't see anything. It felt as though somebody put a black cloth on my head. At that moment I thought to myself, I'm going to die. As the siren eats away at the body's nervous system, some passengers go into spasm. Others collapse unconscious. Thirteen minutes after the attack, the siren is spreading through the Tokyo Metro. There are 40 to 50 passengers in various stages of siren poisoning. It is made worse by the minute, as the poison gas spreads onto the platform. No one has any idea what is happening to them. I had seen many events, incidents and tragedies in my life, but I was never involved. They never happened to me. It was always somebody else. The fact that I was part of this tragedy was what I found most shocking. Shonkichi Watanabe has collapsed dangerously close to the Surrey. When help does come, it's too late. He will die. Many passengers head upstairs for fresh air, but the siren is already in their blood, poisoning them. The sarin used in this attack is just the tip of an extraordinary arsenal Asahara has been developing. Through Orm, Asahara has assets of a billion dollars gained through donations and a range of legal and illegal activities. He has spent tens of millions on weapons programs. At their headquarters, Orm are developing the capacity to produce an incredible 70 tons of sarin to spray on Tokyo, an amount that could wipe out the city. Under chief chemist Masami Tichia, they have produced in their laboratories phosgene, sodium cyanide, and the powerful nerve agent VX. Under Seichi Endo, Orm scientists are also developing biological weapons including the botulinus toxin and anthrax. Orm is also accessing military hardware from Russia. Kiyohida Hayakawa, Orm's number two, has even purchased an army helicopter and made inquiries into nuclear weapons. Toro Toyota's train is now seven minutes behind schedule. With the sick removed from the carriage where the sarum was released, the station attendants let the train continue. Unknown to Metro staff, the sarum gas is being spread along the line, just as Asahara has planned. In the minds of the five attackers, the people they are killing are not innocent bystanders. They are depraved and corrupt. The practical reason for their action may be to ward off the police raid they've been tipped off about. But they can also console themselves that this is a holy act. A crusade against the polluted world. There have been other similarly motivated attacks. Two years before, Orm tried to assassinate what it viewed as the corrupt royal family. From the back of a van, Asahara sprayed botulinus toxin around the Imperial Palace in Tokyo. Asahara's deluded self-righteousness knows no bounds. And there is a further huge ambition. The third 
逆にこの第三次世界大戦は私にとってそれからオウム真理教にとって飛躍のつまりジャンプ台と何に違いないアサハラ believes that if this attack on the metro can be blamed on America it will be possible to trigger a world war and fulfill divine destiny the apocalypse is coming Only the enlightened members of Orm can escape the impending disaster. Toro Toyota's train continues into the Hibiya line platform at Kasuma Gaseki with its evacuated carriage. But passengers and other carriages are also affected as the sarin filters through the train. The train is now taken out of service, but the siren is leaking into the station. A Kasuma Gesaki's Chioda line platform. Assistant station master, Kasamasa Takahashi, is trying to clear up a messy package which he has removed from a train. He always called me when he was working night shift. And he had indeed phoned me on the previous evening. He wanted to talk about going away for our wedding anniversary. The package is the siren placed by Dr. Hayashi. His train pulled into Kasumi Gasaki ten minutes ago, and scores of ill people were evacuated before the train moved on. <laughs> Throughout the station, people are starting to show severe symptoms of sarin poisoning. People started to collapse. Then I had reports of people dying, no pulse, no breathing, and so on. Reports that were getting worse by the minute. On Kenichi Hirose's train and Nakano Sakaue, similar events are occurring. His siren has now been at work for 26 minutes. The authorities have finally been informed. Subway officials again step in. <laughs> Takeo Fujimoto will die in hospital in two days' time. <laughs> Tsuna Sakai will die in the next few hours. <laughs> Assistant station master Sumio Nishimura removes the suspicious packets to a back office. He will be grateful that he is so careful with the siren. Though he will be sick, he is extremely lucky to survive. The train, still contaminated by sarin, is allowed to carry on. <coughs> Takahashi, with sarin all over his gloves, has not been so careful. His colleagues at Kasumi Gaseki Station take him to a back room. No ambulance is available to assist them. With calls flooding in from numerous metro stations, the emergency services are being stretched to the limit. The station attendants wait. The open bag containing the sarin continues to leak. <laughs> 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 
on the fifth train, where Yasuo Hayashi left his three packages, the effects had been devastating. He made the most punctures of any of the attackers. A passenger pulled the emergency stop at Tsukiji Station. Eight passengers had already lost consciousness, and many others were seriously ill. The authorities, suspecting a gas leak, halted the train 